guys, welcome back to my channel, Brian Laferdian. Today is Wednesday, April 8th, and it is a beautiful day outside, but gotta do a shave before we get started. So today is a special shave. I'm doing a dedication shave to Mark Hutchinson from Friendship, Friendship Shaving on YouTube, and he also has a Friendship Shaving uh, Facebook page, which is, has great content. But let me talk about his YouTube channel. So before I got into making my own videos for wet shaving on YouTube or just making, really just doing any kind of uh, wet shaving videos in general, I was watching him, I watched his videos, I gained a lot of insight, a lot of knowledge. I respected his reviews and everything he's done on his channel and he has got great content. But anyway, he is at home trying to recover from the COVID-19 virus. So hopefully he's doing well. Hopefully, Mark, if you're watching this, you are getting better and just taking care of yourself. And I hope you get healthy soon. But I put this video together thinking of some things that I believe that he would use when he shaved on a daily basis or just in general when he shaved, some of the things that I would think he would use. So I know that I'm gonna be using one of his favorite razors which is the Gillette Heritage razor. This is a three-piece razor, and this came out, I believe, uh, end of last year, specifically like around October, November. So Gillette released this razor, uh, their first safety razor that they released, I think ever since 1989, I believe. I could be wrong, but it was the first razor that they released in about 20, something years. So I know this is one of his favorite razors to use and it's a fine shaver, which I have to agree with. It's one of the best shavers in my collection that I like reach, reach for when I'm shaving. So I have this and it also comes in a nice cool case, which is nice. So very, very nice touch. And one of the blades I'll be using is one of the ones that I've, I think I've seen on his channel that he, that he enjoys using and it's going to be a Gillette NASA blade. So this will be the first use in the razor, first blade use of this in that Gillette Heritage razor. And for my soap, actually it's a cream, it's gonna be the Taylor of Old Bond Street Luxury Shaving Cream. This is the St. James collection. So this is from England, the UK, and I know he's from the UK, so I believe this is one of the creams that he likes to use and so I'm gonna be using this and this is one of my favorite creams by the way great great scent one of my favorites from uh, Tobbs or Taylor of Old Bond Street and brush is I'm not sure if he has this brush but I think it's one of the kinds I think he has a a similar one to this this is my Razor Rock 400 brush this is like a take on a on an um, old style brush that, he's, that I believe that was made back in the 50s or 60s. And this is the Razor Rock version. This is a metal brush, aluminum metal handle. And it has the black synthetic knot, the black Noir plus soft knot, which is soft. Just a very, very fine brush. And I want to say I saw in one of his videos he had a brush just like this. So Mark, I'm not sure if this is the brush you have in your video, but I'm thinking I'm close to what you would probably use for your shaves, um, these products I just picked out. So guys, got about two days worth of growth on my face, and I am absolutely ready for a shave. So let me go ahead and wash my face, do my pre-shave, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back from my first pass. Got my face washed and pre-shaved there added to my face. So let me go ahead and add this cream. I'm gonna add it directly right onto the brush. A little bit of cream from the tub right on the brush. So I'll take about this much out. So a lot of times I do I do lather, bowl lather, but I'm gonna do it right on the face this time. And let's go ahead and try to get this started here. All right. So I got a little bit of water in the brush, so probably gonna be a lather 
leather mess here, but either way, this is gonna be a fantastic shave. Yeah, there we go. That's the leather I'm looking for. Yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely gonna be messy. For some reason, I'm more messier with creams than I am with soaps. Especially when I, when I face lather with the cream. All right. So this stuff does lather excellent, by the way. A tiller of old Bond Street. So I found out that Mark had the COVID-19. Uh, he announced it on his YouTube channel, I believe a few days ago or before the weekend last week, this past weekend. And he was just saying that he's recovering at home from it. And I posted one of my videos recently, like the last day or so, and he commented that he was getting better each day. So that's great to hear that he's doing better. And that's the thing. A lot of people are having these symptoms are, you know, getting the virus and they're slowly getting better at home. So that's a, definitely a relief to hear that. All right, that should be good. Yeah, so nice, nice lather so far. Plenty of lather to get started here. Oops, sorry guys, gotta put some water in my sink for a second here. All right. That should be good. So I got the Gillette Heritage loaded with the Nasset blade by Gillette. I'm gonna do that first pass uh, with the grain. So you'll probably hear some good feedback because I do have a two day growth on my face. So I love the few products I have from England, from UK, I do love. I do love the Tobbs, Tiller Oil Bicer Creams. I used to have an aftershave, I believe. I think it was Eaton College I had aftershave and I got, I, 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 I think I used it all up. It was so good. And I have a Wickham soap from, that I picked up from, from Pastor's Pharmacy, which is made in UK. And it's the only one I have right now. It's the Union Square, but I really enjoy that soap. I'm gonna probably pick up some more Wickham soaps in the, in the future. So lots of great stuff from the UK coming out, or that's been out. It's been a dream of mine actually to go to England one of these days on a vacation and, and go check out the the Taylor Royal Bond Street store, uh, St. James of London. I think there's a few stores I'm gonna go check out. There's a bunch of um, shave, shave products out there from England. They have stores. Yeah, anytime I use this cream, it's, I'm guaranteed a fantastic shave. And speaking of fantastic shave, this razor, like you said, Mark, is fantastic. It is one of my favorite razors to use. It's got the, the R89 head from Mule, or allegedly that's what people think it is. But for some reason, it does work great with this handle. I mean, it does exceptionally with this handle. And I don't know why, but I get better shades with this than my Edwin Jagger razors or my, you know, the same, with a, you know, with a similar head, so. And you can't beat the value. I think it was $34.99 last time I checked on Amazon. They still have these in stock. Right. 
got to be careful right here. My last video, I had a lot of bloodletting going on, so I'm sure you guys saw that. So I have to be real careful going over this spot right here. It is healing up nicely, but don't want to get that started again. All right, guys, that was a fine first pass. Oh, I got some cream right there. Look at that cream everywhere. And I will be right back. Okay, guys, back for my second face on for second pass. First pass was ex exceptional. Great, great pass. And I'm going to be using this 400 brush to get started again, lathering my face. Definitely plenty of lather left on this brush. All right. The thing I find out about creams is you don't have to face lather too much once you, once you get started because the cream you just basically lay on your face, like paint on your face. After that first initial face lather, so definitely a little bit easier than soaps to get started with, but I do feel like I do get better shape with soaps sometimes because of the, you know, the face lather. I'm using the brush more to uh, soften it off. Soften the uh, whiskers there. But if you do a good good pre-shave, wash your face, and use the cream, you are definitely going to get a decent shave also. All right, let me go ahead and do that second pass. That should be fine right there. And I'm going to be using across the grain. So I hope you guys are staying healthy and safe out there. Practicing good habits. Definitely a lot more people wearing masks in stores, grocery stores, out and about more, more, especially inside, in public more that I've seen lately. Our certain gen our certain general here in the States actually has strongly advised people to wear masks when they go in the stores, any places of essential businesses, you know, if you need to get get things for, for home, for the quarantine. And the first time I went to Costco this past weekend to get a lot of stuff, I think a lot of people, I think probably 75% of people were wearing masks, cloth masks or whatever kind of mask they can put on their face. I think the rationale is that the people that have the virus that don't know they have this, that have mild symptoms, you know, that don't know they have it, if they sneeze or if they if they're talking or doing anything or heavy breathing, it's not it's going to go right into the mask. So it's not going to really spread around and infect infect anybody close by as much, or if not at all, if they're wearing a mask. Let me go underneath the gills right here. But some of the pictures you see on social media, these people are going crazy wearing masks. Some of them, some of them were actually wearing scuba, scuba masks with a tube and doing some crazy things, wearing bra covers, wearing bras on their faces. They're, some of these people are being really creative making their own masks, so it's kind of hilarious to see what's going on out there. Definitely a lot of bloopers going on out there. So people are definitely trying to cover their face. If it's one way or the other, they're gonna cover their face. All right, guys, that's the second pass, and that was a really, really nice pass. No nicks or cuts. Let me go ahead and rinse my face, guys, and I will be right back. 
All right, guys, I'm back for my final pass. Plenty of lather left on the brush here. Plenty of cream in there. Let me do that final face lather. All right. And this brush is really, really great, by the way. This is the one from Razor Rock, the Black Noir Plus Soft Knot. Very soft. I really bought it for the handle, but man, after I started using the brush more often, I really like the uh, knot that is in the brush. So let me tell you about Mark, a little bit about Mark and friendship shaving. So he was probably one of the first few guys I started watching on YouTube for any shave related content. And immediately, you know, I just drawn to his videos, his reviews. He's got that soft spoken voice, just really, really friendly voice. It, it just, I don't know, just some, it's for some reason when you watch his videos, you, I don't know why, you just feel relaxed, you feel good. You know, you kind of, my, what I do a lot of times when I watch other YouTube videos from other wet shavers, a lot of times I watch them after work. I get on home from work. I mean, I work 10 to 12 hours a day and I watch videos to, you know, just get some shaving tips, insight about products. Um, just, you know, that's why I really start really looking, watching videos of other people. And he's one of the guys that is always... You know, kind, sincere, great, great content. And it's, I mean, in a, I, hope I, I hope I'm not saying in a, I'm not saying in a bad way, but his voice, it just, it, he helps me unwind and really, really unwind from work, from my stressful day at work, if I have a stressful day. And I kind of, and I, you know, I really enjoy his videos. I really enjoy the content. Some of his recommendations on products I've, I picked up because I watch his videos. And I've seen his his um, his experience with them. I think I bought a couple Yaki heads recently because of one of his videos. His few videos, he was re he was reviewing some Yaki heads from Yaki. But just a just a really really nice guy. Kind of like the guy you would, kind of like a friend, basically. Even though I never met him in person, it seems like when you watch his videos, you just seem like you're you're hanging out with a friend. All right, so definitely, definitely nice pass. I love this blade, the Nasset in this in this razor. Nice combination. So yeah, definitely one of the first channels, or actually one of the channels I, I regularly watch all the time on YouTube for wet shaving. All right, I gotta be careful here. I don't wanna open up and shoot any more blood for you guys on this video, so definitely gotta pay attention right here. So, almost out of the water here. Yeah, right there. Gotta be careful. That's how I opened it last time. I was going against the grain and I nicked that area there. Let me do a little bit more underneath the gills here. Yeah, so Mark, hopefully you're getting better. Hopefully, get to feel like yourself again. That's the most important thing, getting better. 
Uh, don't worry about making any shape content because we'll any videos because we'll we'll be here waiting for you when you come back when you're healthy. All right, let me go against the grain underneath the nose right here, the gills. I call it the gills. But man, there's a lot of definitely a lot of de development with this COVID nineteen. A lot of a lot of. Uh, Good news about that that drug that they're using that that anti malaria drug that's been around for a while, hydroxychloroquine. I can never say that word. <laughs> hydroxychloroquine. That's what I want to say. So, I read that they've been giving it to people in New York and it's been working. So, and one of the Democratic, one of the politicians that that is a Democrat actually praised the drug as helping her. I think she was up in. I'm not sure where she was from, one of the northern states, but it she helped she credited to helping her recover from the virus. So that's good that they're actually coming out with new stuff to combat the COVID-19. I know we're definitely taking it a lot seriously. Uh where I work, I work in the hospital by the way. And they've been moving us all over the hospital. I'm a I'm a registered nurse, so they've been moving us all over the hospital, different areas. And one of the things I've been doing, I actually will be doing next time I go to work, is doing uh, temperature checks on all employees and everybody that walks in the hospital. So that's been going on for like the last week and a half. So definitely, definitely, we're trying to be more more proactive in identifying people that have the COVID nineteen or have the symptoms, so they can go home and recover and stay home and not spread it around. Which is good, and also you know, of course, taking care of the people that do have it that have the respiratory problems, breathing. So I'm just glad that you know we are being proactive about it, and you know it's going to take a little while for this whole thing to quiet down. But I'm just so glad to see some good stories out there about um, you know some improvements and things going on. I think New York's. I think the death. I think the death. And then the number of cases in New York are going down, so that's kind of are 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 trending down right now. So that's a good thing to hear. And so there's there is definitely de definitely good news, you know, trickling in, you know, about the COVID nineteen. All right, guys, that's my last pass, and I did not cut a, an artery right here or cut any blood. So let me go ahead and rinse my face, and I didn't I didn't need a didn't need the uh, first aid kit for this shave. So guys, let me rinse my face. Be back for the post shave. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back for the post shave. So I do not have the matching St. James aftershave for the cream. So I'm gonna be using the next best thing. And this smells similar to it. This is this Panad Clement Reserve Brandy Spice. So as you can tell, I haven't really used it too much, but man, just picked this up not too long ago. And I'm looking forward to using this. And this smells similar to the soap or the cream from Taylor of Bond Street, the St. James collection. So, at least to me, it does. And this is an alcohol based aftershave. So, hopefully, I won't get too much of the burn. Hopefully, I'll get a good post shave. All right. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely smells good. Yeah, definitely smells good. Has the definitely smell a little bit of the brandy in it, but man, nice and spicy, woodsy. Has a nice little sweetness to it. Pretty much, pretty close to the uh, St. James cream, in my opinion, it is. So definitely check this out if you, if you see this, pick it up. Great stuff. And so, guys, that's my shave. My shave, my dedication shave to Mark from Friendship Shaving. And the soap, the cream I used was the Taylor Roll Bond Street, the Luxury Shaving Cream, which is a St. James collection. And I didn't really talk about the notes, but the notes from this cream, but it's a very nice, fresh, masculine scent. It's got citrus, it's got floral notes, it's got woodsy notes in it. Uh, maybe a little bit of amber. It's and that's that's what I'm getting from the from the from the scent notes when I'm using it. And I think I got this for. For seventeen fifty or something like that from Amazon, so definitely a great value. 
and it is about 5.3 ounces, so definitely a great value. Uh, one of my favorite creams to use, and I used, my razor I used was one of Mark's favorite razors, which is the Gillette Heritage Razor. This is a three piece, and it has the R89 Mule head, or pretty darn close to it. But like I said, this head works great with this handle. I mean, I don't know why, but I'm getting great shapes with, with this razor compared to my Edwin Jagger, which has the same head as this, the um, EJ89. And brush, I actually, blade I used was a N Gillette NASA blade, first use. Uh, one of my favorite blades. I believe this is one of Mark's favorite blades too. But definitely, definitely a fine blade. This this blade works in every razor I've used. It is one of my best one of my best blades I like using. And this is actually moving up to be my favorite blade. I think I think I picked my favorite blade last year in one of my previous videos was the was the Persona Platinum blade. But this is pretty darn close to that blade. This is probably getting even a little bit a little bit better in my opinion in performance wise. Plain sharp but definitely very smooth though. This is a smooth blade. And the brush I used was my Razor Rock 400 black plus soft knot synthetic brush. I believe this is like 24 millimeter knot, but man, it's nice, nice knot. A little bit of backbone, but mostly soft, just really, really soft. And I like the way it splays, it just has a nice splay. But the handle is really what's really, what really, um, takes your eye, puts your eye on the brush, is this handle, this aluminum handle, the 400 handle, very, very nice handle. And this is a, a aluminum metal, so it's got some heft to it. All right guys, that's my shave. So hopefully Mark from French Shaving, hope you continue to get better from the COVID-19. And just, just get healthy, brother, just get healthy. And we'll be here when you come back to YouTube. And everybody else, please stay safe out there. Please practice your safety measures, you know, your six foot rule, um, mask when you go out in public in stores, but definitely, definitely safe, safe guys. Enjoy your shaves and I will see you back this weekend. Take care.